Hela, I come with a business proposition. How may I assist you? I believe that if the food from the militiamen barracks does not turn up in the hands of the people, only they will survive, correct? Correct. I would also not discount the fact that the survivors will mount a desperate assault on the barracks. The towns around us have already set up a perimeter. No one is getting out of here. So even Rivertown has closed off its borders? Yes, and unlike our militiamen, the Marquis's forces are not weak at all. I highly doubt any of us will escape. And if one of you who escapes turns out to have the plague... The Marquis's forces will torch everything from here to Rivertown. I will go to the militiamen barracks and negotiate food for gold. I will need the sanctuary's gold. People have tried in the past. Most of them are lying under the mud outside the barracks. Were they merchants? No. Why do you ask? A merchant could convince a nun to sell out the divine if you wanted to. Not a nun. You're not? It's a common misperception. The healers do serve under the sanctuary churches, but only because the churches have total monopoly over herbs and other medicine. Remember the words of the healer's order, the people above self. Where has the father of the church gone to then? We burnt his body. I'm sorry that I asked. It is okay. The Father always told us never to expect to live forever. The only eternal thing is the help we render. It is only natural. I'll be off. How much gold does the sanctuary have left? Two hundred gold coins and sixty silver. Take care of that little girl for me until I come back. to. 
than they are? We'll see. May the divines watch over you. One quick question. How big is the militia, and how many men are usually assigned to the granary? The militiamen consists of about 30 people, and usually eight or nine men guard it. Tell me, how is the granary built? I'm afraid that I do not know the... I'm not asking about the details. I, I want to know how the gates were built. How do you lock them? And are there any other ways in? It is a huge iron sliding door, padlocked from the inside by the guards. No windows, correct? I do not think so. Who is allowed access to the grave? farmers when they make their delivery, the guards, I think that's about it. Has the village done a casualty count? <laughs> Too hard and dangerous to do so. The only organization still intact in this town may very possibly be ours, but the Miners Guild are a tough group. No matter how tough a person is, they crumble before three things. Death. Death, money, and... Fate. Oh no, man crafts his own fate. The last would be before your duty. My lady. Oh, my. You will be subject to my pursuits when I return from my journey. Farewell. I... This is so sudden. It is not sudden. I was completely unaware that healers could marry. Wait, I... I have traded in Irontown just so that I can see you. From the Imperial Capital down to Rivertown, to Irontown and the small villages beyond. But I stay in this town for the longest. Clergy that still desired me? You did not have to phrase it that way. Anyway, I'm off. Huh? Oh, wait a minute! Time and money wait for no one. I will be back. if you marry him. Where did you come out from? 
The wandering witch is everywhere and nowhere. Think he will be all right? The heavens have already decided what will happen. Yes, they have. Do you not feel that what he says is true? That man craft their own fate? What is man in the face of the divines? Take my hand. Why? Precisely. Huh? What happened? I stretched out my hand and you refused to take it. Man can behave the same. I... Your betrothed is not a very pleasant man. <sighs> he isn't. Do what you will. The wandering witch shall rest. Take care. May the divines... Wait, what? The barracks do indeed look intact compared to a lot of the other buildings. I'm a traveling merchant, here to negotiate terms of safe passage. Passage? What safe passage? Merchant, we have little time for your games. I hail from the Emperor's Court. I am stuck in this terrible place, so I have come to offer you riches in return for your salvation. Emperor? Ha! You lie, merchant! It is no lie. Do I need to describe the splendor of the Imperial Palace to you? I... What do you want? Food for the poor people. The Imperial Court will offer you 90 gold and pardon you and your families for crimes against the realm. Ninety gold? I spit on your offer. Do you have any idea how much the food we are sitting on is actually worth now? How much do you think your bounties are worth when the court receives my letter that all of you have been stealing food from the granary? such a thing. Come now, 
did not come to argue with you about what is right or wrong. I am a merchant. All I care about is loss and profit, as a soldier should care about duty. The granary was burnt down. We did not steal a thing from it. Now, don't lie to me. The gates of granaries are built to withstand a siege in these parts and can only be opened from the inside. Logic, even one man could hold down the granary against a mob. Unless the mob has a trebuchet with them, I do not happen to see one around. We were all out defending the town. that all of you are alive, not a single dead from the riot. And the granary is to be in flames? Either all of you are very incompetent, or all of you simply orchestrated this to steal grain from the granary. No such... I do not care what you have to say in the absence of His Majesty, Emir, our Grace. The offer of gold has just dropped to 60 for your defiance and for wasting the time of an Imperial merchant. gets closer and closer to being sent out and your entire family's heads on spikes. You? Let us now begin negotiations in earnest. You mean we weren't negotiating? I was stating the obvious factors. I would gamble that the families of you and your men are both inside. Yes, indeed. I would not have our families in the streets while the rabble runs amok. Of course. I would only do the same. I wonder, what is the punishment for treason? Stealing state crops meant for tribute to our great emperor. I don't know. Oh, you do know. Execution of you and your family members. How delightful to join the ranks of headless traitors that line the city walls. Leave our families out of this! have inevitably already involved your family simply by taking the food that belongs to our emperor. What were we to do? What can we do? Turn over your food to us at a good price. You can still profit while you are at it. Then put this farce behind us. 
What guarantees do we have that you are telling the truth? By the merchant's contract. The worst thing that can happen to a merchant is to go against his word. I... This is not a standing offer. You either say yes now, or I walk away. Damn it. All right. All right. We will surrender the food. that we've come to a consensus while you stand behind your boarded windows. Open the door, and let us shake hands in the sanctuary. Very well, Imperial Merchant. Ah, look at you, what a handsome man. Let us head to the church. We did no crime, we only took a bit. But how did you know? <laughs> 